Restaurant Unstoppable. What the most successful restaurateurs know that you don't. We have to pay it back. Uh, these people are investing. It takes some places nine, nine, 90 days, three weeks or three months to get to the point where you're even somewhat efficient at your role. Uh, and then at that point, you're there for another three months and you're leaving. You know, like you, you got to give back to the restaurant that, that's training you. At least a year, I think, is a standard. What, what do you think the standard is? I think the a year is the standard. Um, <clears throat> um, I honestly think it takes a little bit more time yeah. than that, personally. That's the minimum. Yeah, I think I think really a year is the minimum. And I'll tell you why I think a year is the minimum. Um, if we just use 90 days as the barometer, then um, 90 days is three months. We've got four quarters in a year broken down by three month segments. If it takes you three months to get acclimated, you've probably already missed the season in the restaurant, just getting acclimated. You've been doing things, but you haven't really absorbed them. Um, so now you're leaving at three seasons instead of the entire four seasons. And there are things that you may have been able to produce differently of yourself going into that first season with three seasons behind you now. So technically, I would recommend someone work through five seasons at a restaurant instead of, instead of four seasons because the first season is a wash. Mm -hmm. That's your training period. And... <clears throat> You know, a good cook can, can jump into a place. If they got great hand and eye coordination, they can figure out um, the technical aspects of how to convert things. Um, and the period is a little shorter for fitting in or blending. Um, but you may not fully understand the philosophy um, during that period. It's just a place that you think is cool or, or you're working with someone you want to work with. Or it's a stop until you go somewhere else that you want to go. All of the above, I think, I think it just takes a, a more in-depth commitment. Um, the other thing that I think has to be flushed out is this ideal that it is incredibly difficult to be excellent at a job, to be a craftsman, um, to be skilled, to master a thing if you're not committed. And so if you leave every four to six months or every six to eight months, what have you ever really committed to? And how can you negotiate with anyone that, you know, commitment is your strong suit? I think a lot of people, and I can see this from the lens of a young cook to an old dog who's been around for a while. You know, you th many of us think um, that we are stalling our opportunity to have this breakout moment if we stay somewhere too long. And obviously I'm biased because I stayed at a place a very long time. Yeah, um, 20 years. <clears throat> yeah, and the truth is I wanted to quit a lot of times. Um, I had other restaurants to look at that retain their guys um, much longer than your average restaurant, you would say and they were great restaurants. And I'm still in touch with those chefs. Um, and, I, and, and the interesting thing is the chefs all wondered why I was so enamored with them and I didn't work with them because when I started working in restaurants, it was, it was very, you know, the orientation was, was very clicky. You know, like if you work for this group, you didn't really talk to that group. And if you work for that group, you know, um, um, you didn't talk so much to the other group. Because yeah. everyone was competing. Um, so it was like you were on a team that was competing against the other teams. Um, these days, that, that doesn't exist. I'm so much. happy to hear you say that.